good to see that sun a little bit. It's just the, the, the guides, yeah, freezing the guides is annoying. Right there while you're spinning real. It went straight up. <laughs> Did it break again? Yeah. Good morning, folks. It is freaking cold. It's like 24 degrees fishing the BFL number one in the Ozark division. Uh, Drew Lance over here. And I'm just going through boat check. It's usually a cluster out here, but we're going to make it happen. We're boat number 54, doing it like, what are we doing? 320? Doing it 320. Uh, man, like I said, front came through yesterday. It's uh, pretty dang cold this morning. It's not going to warm up. It's going to get up to like 38. The sun is supposed to pop out later on this afternoon, so we're all hoping and praying for that. But everybody's fishing under the same conditions. The goal, as always, is to go out there, have fun, make it back safe. So uh, here we go. We 54, is that right? Yeah. 54. 5-4. 5-4. 5-4, yes, sir. 3-20. Got it. Trying to do two things at once. Good, man. How are you? There, yeah, you too, man. We'll catch you. Same to you. Maybe we'll do, you'll have to do a podcast next week of how we both caught them. That's right. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Smoke number 51. Smoke number 52. Checking in the gas stock today, guys. Smoke number 53. Number 54. If that sun will come out, things won't ice up quite as bad.
and the net was froze to the floor. That's a good one there. On the board. Thank you. Dudes and dudettes, it was ridiculously cold on the lake. Probably top three coldest tournaments that I'd fish. I caught my first keeper and I realized I had my rain jacket zipped up so I didn't actually get the catch, but you got to see that I did get one in the boat. We had just run from across the lake and I was frozen. Um, it was, you know, like mid twenties in the morning and I don't think it ever got above freezing. So we were battling the ice and the guides nonstop. And something that was happening to Lance was he kept breaking his crankbait off. He'd make a cast and he had ice in the guides and the line did not slide through the guides or in the reel or something and this crankbait just kept popping off i think that happened happened three times for sure maybe four times The opening clip was it was funny he cast it and we heard the line snap and we're waiting for the bait to fall in the water and it lands right on the front deck you know after it's up in the air for several seconds but it was hilarious so this this happened several times in the morning it was frustrating for him I mean, he was getting backlashes and he spent a lot of time re-rigging his stuff but the bite was kind of slow we fished one area pretty hard he caught two fish one on a crankbait one on a jig <clears throat> The jig ended up being his his go-to bait throughout the day. I caught that one fish just dropping straight down on a Demiki rig. That's something. Here's a co-angler tip, guys. Um, I spent a lot of time in the boat with Travis Harriman. If you didn't see those practice videos, go back and check them out. He's really good, that offshore with a Demiki rig. And one thing I learned was if you do catch fish on a cast, the boater catches fish on a cast, it draws fish to the boat. So if you're ever in a live scope, Demiki rig situation or really a rig draws even more fish but if you're ever in that situation out of the back of the boat keep a keep a jig head minnow handy and when your boater pulls those fish to the boat after you've netted his fish of course drop drop your stuff right down because a lot of times there's several more fish just kind of hanging around the boat <clears throat> and you can catch those fish and that's kind of how I caught that that first keeper so the mornings Morning's going slow. We're poking around. Um, we're getting ready to make a few adjustments and try some areas that um, he knows that fish are sitting at. There we go. That's what they're for.
stubborn. A bad spot in your line or something? Yeah, it, it froze. And then it oh, backlash. Smallmouth, huh? Yeah, I got you line. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that didn't take that long, really. Man, you were on a roll there for a while. Yeah. There it is. Thank you. You're welcome. It's almost warm enough where you can cast. Yeah. It was a whole lot better than I did about two hours ago. So do you work in like hole, hole design, designing the holes or what? Do you, I don't know how all that works. Oh, yeah. I do hole design. What do you like best about the job? It's probably cool to see the finished product too and have it out, you know, it's out on the market and yeah. see people not enjoying it, that kind of stuff. So how long does it take after you finalize a, a hole design to where you see it out on the market? Uh, the product was usually 12 to 18 months. Okay. Got one? It's black, ain't he? That's why you're missing them from small mouse. Good one. Yeah. That'll help. Oh shit. You got off? I like it. It's the closest thing I've had to one in about five hours. Yeah, sorry, I was a little slow in the net. I, that might help a little.
Okay. Fifty four. Five four. Five four. Can we go get bags? Yeah, I'll go get them. Don't fall in. Okay. Catch him? He got him. I got one little small one. How'd you do? Got five, maybe five twelve. Yeah. High traffic area right here. Yeah, right. Maybe 10-5. We'll see, though. I didn't realize you were that far back. <laughs> Catch him up. 22. Huh? He always kicks ass. You're 10 horse monster. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, man? How y'all doing? Good. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, he the was. One that he has was the walleye boat that you already see. Yeah. A couple of years ago, you ooh walleye boat. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was. He was. I was staying with him. He was. He was on pretty good. He out, always is. Yeah. Out there in 80 foot of water, plinking them off probably. Yeah. All I got to say is, thank God the sun was out because um, it was freaking sun. cold. Yeah. yeah. You're leading, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate What's it. Good job Some lucky gloves I gave you. Exactly right. Dude, that's awesome. I'm going to have a two-hander in there. Jeez, oh big! It's a lot of good bags brought in, huh? That was a good. That was a good sack right there. You don't want this bag. It's broke. I have big fish in. Here's that one there. Twelve. Hey, you got you. Hey, Table Rock Twelve, right? Yep. Dave, how we do? I got one, a small one. Yeah, how'd you do? I actually got my first full bag today. Did you really? I think I'm first here now, but oh, yeah. it's 13 to 10. Yeah, I was thinking about you. I actually stopped in. Did you stopped at Bait Works on the way down? Yeah, I did for a little bit. I was talking to you. I was like, Gabe was in here. I was like, oh, okay, cool. We didn't realize that you lived in uh, like southeast Missouri. Yeah, I live in Cape Girardeau. Yeah. I'm close. Cape. So it's about a five-hour drive. He said, uh, That's good, dude. 13. We'll see what happens. Good luck, bro. Where's your fish? Just local, right around here. Mm -hmm. yeah. You stayed really close. Yeah. All right, buddy. We'll All right, man. easy going home. Hey, what's up? Good. All right, folks, here we go. He's got a lemon, I got one, so we're gonna weigh him in. Decent bag. You just need that kicker, right? Small. Cool. Go. Go. <laughs> The guy was staying with Landon, he got 20, he's got 22 7 or 22 something. Yeah, he's he's been on him. Brandon Smith, Nixa, Missouri boater. 
has three today. Who do you have with you? Your biggest fan? Uh, yeah, Hadley. Hi, Hadley. Six pounds, 13 ounces. You guys want to say hi to anybody? I think I'm on the wrong side. Let me slide around here. Yeah, thanks. Vote number 54. Yep. Missouri Motor. Erica Burners, Springfield, Missouri. Co Angler. One today. What did you catch it out of? Two pounds and three ounces. And hopefully at the next tournament, it'll be a whole lot warmer for us. What's going on, buddy? What's up, man? Just one. Yep. One, one, I made it easy on you. <laughs> Missouri Motor. Five. Five yeah, I know. Bag. They're healthy fish. You took good care of them. They don't want to sit still. They're nervous though. They've never been to the scales before. Four channel for that matter. 14 pounds, 14 ounces. That's 14th place round. Good job. Ready? See you in a few. Yeah. Gabe Montgomery. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you, Gabe? I'm doing good, man. Glad the sun's out because it was chilly. Too. It was miserable. Sir. He's got one today. Gonna be worth two pounds and nine ounces. What'd you catch that thing on? That, oh, the old tater shad. I don't know what a tater yeah. shad is. It's a little Dominique bait. You okay. just drop it over the side when you see fish on the graph, and every once in a while they come up and there suck it go. in. There you go. Well, thank you so much All for right. coming out to fish with us. All right. Tater shad sounds delicious. Tater shad. Is that about what you thought? Yeah. It's cold like this. They weigh more. A little more, yeah. What's up, bud? Hey, man. How are you? How you doing? I'm doing all right. folks that's a wrap on the derby man it was freaking cold it's 5 20 right now and it's still 28 degrees uh, i don't think it ever got above freezing you know the toughest thing about today was uh obviously dealing with the cold but the way the cold affects your fishing gear you get ice in your guides all day long the lance broke off like i don't know like five or six times on the cast because he had so much ice in his level line, you know, or in his guides, and it chews up your line and wreaks havoc on everything. You get backlashes, you know, your line will start to go out and then it'll catch and you get a big nasty backlash. So everybody was dealing with that. And, uh, you know, but thank God the sun was out. I had, you know, I had a good day. It was cool to fish, fish with Lance. Um, he's still doing it old school. He's got the active target up front, but he didn't use it a whole lot. Um, he caught his fish on a jig. He ended up having like 14 something pounds. I think he got 32nd place. Uh, I weighed my little spot in. I think I got 64th. There was 150 something co-anglers in it. So, I mean, no check obviously, but you know, could have been a lot worse. I'm just thankful that I got that one bite. So the way it went down was I had, uh, no, we had, Seven, eight fish in the boat. Dudes are rocking out over there. Travis had caught seven fish, he had seven keepers. Uh, I caught one fish, one keeper, that's it. We only caught eight fish all day long, no shorts. It was just, you know, it was kind of tough for us. Um, we did, I mean, he did what he needed to do. He just needed one kicker to get up there. He was right outside of check for me, I do believe. Um, shout out to Landon, we stayed with Landon. Saw him in the practice video, the end of day two practice video. He was the tight lift one when we were doing the Knights of the Round Table. He ended up having like 22 pounds, won the Derby. So that's awesome. Drew, who's also staying with us, 10th place. Travis Harriman, the two practice videos that's who I was fishing with, 22nd. Um, so yeah, that was a hot house. Not sure how Surly did. On the coast side, it took 14 pounds and three ounces to win. Uh, James Welch, congratulations. Second place was 1310, uh, Joshua Ramsey. And I talked to him for a little bit. He had just weighed in and he was in first place, super excited. I think it was his first limit, so congratulations, man. That's pretty awesome. And then Jeff Moss, uh, co angler hammer, man, he had uh, 1215 for third place. It was fun, man. It was fun. You know, it was uh, changing conditions. Man, the people caught them. It was unbelievable how how many bags came in. That you know, that's that lake has got 
so many two and a half to three pound fish. It's unbelievable. You know, when you set the hook, it's almost always like a two and a half pound spot or a smallmouth or something. It's super, super healthy. Um, I had fun, you know, back to the grind. Heading home, we gotta get back to work soon, but it was fun. Um, I caught my fish in that little Demiki rig. You know, I, I seen some fish on the graft and I just dropped over the side in like 25 feet of water and was just holding it there and just thunk. You know, and I kept doing that throughout the day and that was the only bite I got on it. Lance had a little secret secret jig that he was getting bites on. Um, I threw a jig quite a bit. I, I think I did have one bite on it, um, but they wanted a little bit smaller profile jig. And uh, it was fun, man. I'm wore out. You know, I got a five hour drive. So Lord willing, I'll make it home rest tonight so hey thanks for coming along and showing all the support on these tournament videos and then just my weekly postings i really really appreciate a lot um give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not we got more coming man we got some more bfls and anglers in action team trails and stuff We're, we got a busy schedule so we'll keep we'll keep posting as long as you keep watching until next time